hey guys welcome to civil engineers adda this is abhishek so guys today we are here with a new analysis that is modeling and analysis of a mild steel rod for obtaining stress strain curve so let's begin so let's see here guys so what is the modeling part that we have to see is the actual test specimen is used is in this shape that is a mild steel rod so you have the end pictures that are called as a grip section you can see in the line diagram here it's a grip section so width of the grip section we need that and we need the overall length of the specimen also and uh, the distance between the shoulders okay so the distance between the shoulders here uh, this is clearly visible here you can see distance between the shoulders and the gauge length okay so from this gauge length so whatever the distance is measured as gauge length we take that length as l so firstly i will just take a line come i'll take a cylinder command since the specimen is cylindrical we can choose that command and now we have don't have a sketching plane here select a sketching plane and then click one click on the center okay then your sketching plane will be selected so now we have already selected or once again if you want to select select the cylinder drag it once only just hold once and just see what length you require here first we'll concentrate mainly on the 55 mm part so let's take only 55 mm as of now so let's start okay sorry yeah so just take 55 mm 55 and enter after entering your length will be fixed but your uh, you need to provide the diameter of the bar there so for that you need to see it's a 10 mm diameter in between so let's select as 10 mm enter now click escape and just select the 3d model to show okay fine so you can just see the isometric view your uh, cylinder the central portion has been created successfully and now just think what you need to do again so 55 mm everything is done and now you need another uh, cylindrical part that is 40 mm in length and diameter should be 14 mm so let's do so before that you need a radius of 16 mm here so we'll just try to model that here uh, okay let's see let's take this part here and we'll have a sketching part so what we'll do is we'll take this part uh, yes we'll take this part and we'll just uh, try to get a okay i'll just show you how to do the modeling without the radius also i will think uh, we'll do that so just click it in this way and uh, this one more thing what you have to what you need to do is just select the isometric part here now what you do select one face here and uh, give a command called as plane okay select plane and just click on move so the plane selected will move now i want to move it uh, to the distance of 14 mm say it's a 14 mm okay i've just moved it through 14 mm so fine guys so this is 14 mm distance now what i'm going to do is i'll select this plane uh, so now just select this plane and say plan view now select one more circle here so it will show you the circle so just see the circle dimension that is it's a 14 mm okay so 14 mm let me come back here so 14 just hold from the center and just make sure you are getting 14 mm okay so fine so this is done here so now what i can do is again the same thing and the same procedure will be repeated here also so move again move by 14 mm okay again select this plan view bring it to center take center from here drag and leave as 14 mm 
yes done so now again just come back to the 3d mode isometric so now you can see okay so you just uh, make sure that the plane is off okay we don't need that plane now so now what you do is so what you have to do now is make sure that guys make sure that you pull this command you how much length of the grip length should be there is the grip length should be 40 mm as mentioned here so of course we'll do it is a 40 mm here just take pull it for 40 mm and leave leave it okay and now same thing here pull for 40 mm and leave it okay so fine guys so now what i'm going to do is a magic trick here now we need to make sure that there is a curve here uh, the radius of that curve should be 16 mm it's mentioned uh, so let's see uh, how we can get that okay fine uh, so this is done here now what i'm going to do is now select this face and select the face of the central portion and just tell this as blend you can use a command called as a blend command so just click on the blend and now you will be able to see that there's a curve here that is a, it's a projectile curve which will develop uh, automatically if you select a blend means it will blend it will try to blend the shape of uh, one circle and other circle i have done it as okay we should press a okay button there now this is done so now again same thing we'll repeat it here and uh, you have to select the both faces and then you have to say as blend okay fine so now just select green button okay so now you can see that uh, the model is uh, ready uh, the model is ready what we need to make is we have to select the entire model here uh, we'll just say this model as combine okay so the entire model will be of a one single solid okay so the entire model is combined now so you can see the entire thing is getting selected which means the entire model is converted into a single mild steel okay 